Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Dawn with Scrapbook Sage. I've got some fun things I wanna share with you today. I've got some journals, um, or I've got this journal I wanna share with you, and some upholstery fabric that I'm gonna be having in the shop. Um, go ahead and check out Scrapbook Sage on Etsy on Etsy if you wanna um, see what is available there as well as this journal. I had a lot of fun making it, so thank you for doing that. I hope you guys enjoy flip throughs and um, resources for making some fun journals for yourself and some ideas and stuff. Um, I also am going to show you my autumn um, sort of scrap bag or um, my scrap little um, box that I put things in through the year that remind me of autumn or is of fall. So as I'm organizing and crafting, I might make a journal or cut out a book and you know, sew them up and it's like, oh, this is really more fall colored or whatever. So I'll put it in my fall little um, storage container. And then I have one that is for spring and one is for summer. So I'll show you how to do that because I made this journal just out of what was in that box primarily. Um, so I had a smaller piece of cardboard from a Pepsi box. So what I try to do when I make journals is I will take, my husband likes Pepsi, so I will cut those big Pepsi boxes and I'll fold the sides in half. And this was the bottom side, like the white, that the white side on the bottom of that box. So I just folded that in half and then took um, the upholstery fabric that I had and um, put the wallpaper and the upholstery fabric and folded up the upholstery fabric. And I tried this, I haven't done this before. I used brads to um, tie, make a little tie here. Usually I just sort of tie it, but I thought I'd play around with the brads to see how they worked. So I did sewing on the edges and this is sewn in just by one stitch. Um, I was I had made it a flow journal originally and then I decided to just go ahead and make a stitch for it. And I put some buttons underneath it and I'll and I think it could still function as a flow journal if you wanted to buy it for that um, but it's a great journal just um, for um, for to-do lists and stuff for Thanksgiving or a gratitude journal as well so when I think of fall I think of family and um, so everything in here is really family oriented and I will show that to you in a finish showing that to you in a moment. This is the upholstery fabric that I will have in the shop. I'm going to, um, they're just so pretty. So that's what I have there for that group. And I also have several pieces like I hope to make a couple more journals out of these so whether they can be bigger journals so you can fold it in half and that's the size of the journal there in comparison to this one so this is about nine inches and this is probably about six by six so those are two journals that I hope to make out of my um, fall um, little container here and I talked to you about that sometimes there is um, these come out of sample boxes or sample books for upholstery fabric and see how there's like a little bit of wax here and there's this on here and sometimes it's easy to take off and sometimes it's not so if it's easy to take off I might take it off um, other times I don't because it's nice to have as like a belly band too so I'll let you guys decide how you want to do that so at times you might see I'll cut this down if it is really frayed and um, I'll just cut it with my um, zigzag scissors it may not be a perfect cut but just so that you know what to expect like this is pretty much I've cut this down for a journal for me so it may not be perfect um, but you can cut off the ends after you get it on the journal or fold them over and all that good stuff. So, um, those are some of the pieces, some of the upholstery fabrics that are um, in the shop. I wanted to show you also a few other ones because they're really fun. This is, these are great fall colors that will be in the shop. And this is just the upholstery fabrics. So I'll get these in the shop for you guys. Um, I've started doing kits that are both um, upholstery fabrics, and there's usually two that are coordinating here. And then I'll be doing some that are upholstery fabrics and um, wallpaper. 
So, and then an example of that would be these here. Well, this is just a wallpaper and upholstery fabric there. And two pieces of wallpaper and two pieces of upholstery fabric. So it would be like this. And see how that's sort of how that's cut down. I was going to use this one and I haven't made a journal out of it. So I decided to go ahead and package it because I thought it went really well with these coordinated and you can get two very different journals out of them, but um, maybe even four. Um, so anyways, I wanted to just show you um, this so you know what to expect out of packaging that I may be sending you on different things. And I will take care of this later because I don't want you to be bored with that. Oh, and I also wanted to show you um, a journal kit that I've put together for you guys, and that will be also something in the shop. So here's a fun little um, bottle page. Here's um, some parchment paper, some coffee dyed paper. And then I took some upholstery fabric scraps and some wallpaper scraps that were lattice and um, just put them all together in a little kit. And in that kit, I also included, in this kit anyways, it may not always be the case, but if I feel like a, if I have a digital kit that coordinates well with it, then I may add that digital kit to um, to the set. So I have this Till Rose digital kit and I thought it would be really pretty with all that sort of that lattice theme. It is good for both fall and spring because if you think I love fall and thinking of family and different things like that and with the browns and stuff and teals it seems like it could work. So there is that kit, and so it would be make putting a journal together really simple. And then here is my journal, and here is my fall box of scraps. So earlier this month, I took some of the scraps that I had in, you know, last week, and these were just some of the scraps, and I... Um, sew them together and I knew they were fall oriented so then I knew I can just put them in here. I did the same with a few more of these. Yesterday I sewed these up. So I know that they will coordinate with all my fall items. Um, earlier this year I took some of my old letters and made names of family names and stuff so when I do my fall um, scrapbooking I have names available for me. And then if there's pages that I like out of books or leftover pieces, I will just um, make ephemera out of them. And sometimes they, these pieces of ephemera will make it into the shop. Sometimes they won't. Um, I have a set in the shop that is similar to these pieces here. This is from TLC Creates last fall. Really cute. So... Um, and just a book, a fall, another piece of wallpaper. So that's sort of what I do. I have um, Tim Holt stuff in here because it's grungy. I have food stuff in here because, again, I think food, Thanksgiving, I just sort of, that's just sort of how my mind works. And then just cutoffs that I might use as um, pockets. Um this was out of a magazine and they're sort of all more fall antique-ish. This is a um, Thanksgiving, November theme um, TV guide. So anyways, and then here are, what's here? So yesterday or a couple days ago, I went through here and I go, oh, all these would be really good for one journal. So I put this all together in one journal and I might make it in one, use one of those upholstery fabrics that I showed you earlier. So that's sort of how I organize my, um, 
extra piece of extra pieces of ephemera and stuff as I'm going along and working on things. And that works too, because like each for like two months or maybe three months, I only need one of those out because I'm working in those colors. Or if it's like, oh, I need to make a a baby book and it's more spring, I could just pull out my spring things and put you know that that works that way. So um it really has helped me be organized for the season. Here is my Christmas one. I haven't, this is like a lot less organized because I haven't done much with it this year. But I've just been throwing things in it this year. And then I will either use things out of it and organize it as um, time goes on. So that's just sort of a sneak peek on how I organize things. So out of that box, I pretty much just took pieces like this is from when um, my old world garden kits I backed it on some um, graph paper this is a, a book cover that I had and I just set that in there I took a couple of those pieces um, I made this little um, a poster fabric piece the other day and then put some hearts and ephemera that I had so it's this is a great way to use up those little pieces that are sitting in your little your little bowl like my little extra pieces I put in here I've done pretty good at using them so this is pretty empty so I have my little bowl there but when you have those little pieces that you want to use um, just at the end of a project like I just glued that on there at the end of the project I'll go through and um, try to fill those in grab washi tape that might um, need to be used this might need to be glued a little bit that's the trick with washi tape right you um, sometimes if it's a little bit older that was sort of the last piece of that washi tape too Okay, got glue on my hands. Now. This is from Carolyn's craft tree. She's got, um, it was, I had worked on a project a while ago from hers and I had a couple of those extra pieces. This is from a book that um, I processed and it had these cute little um, baby girl, these cute little girls, aren't they cute? And I've got button, I just put some buttons there. Here is that, um, this is talking about embossed glass, that bottle book that I had. So I just grabbed some of the pages that I had in my fall seasons. You could tell these are sort of fall colors, um, little books I may have processed or things that I've made. This is um, my makers want to make and I had some buttons. So I was inspired by a lot of the, like I, I was inspired by some of these buttons to make my makers want to make kit. A little tea time there. This is a really interesting tea book. It was unusual teapots. It was fun. There's that bottle. And then here's just some miscellaneous ephemera pieces that I had. This is from a um, porcelain book. And this was from a um, different calligraphy book. And this was a book on crystal. And if you guys are interested in having digital kits with all these different types of pages of different things, let me know because um, I think they are fun to have. It's sort of hit and miss if people have their own things or um, not. And it takes a little bit of time to put things together. But it's always figuring out how to store things once you um, tear things down. So, and then here's a little flip over I did of just a um, page with books. And again, this theme was just sort of cozy, homemaking, um, a little bit, a little bit of fall. My husband works at a shoe store and this was a sticker off of one of the um, boxes that was in, he brings me home boxes sometimes. 
and this is cute. Um, it is a book on, this was an antique book. I have a book on toys too that sometimes I pull from. And then I just took two stamps and turned them around and did that side there. A little kitty washi tape there. Um, and then I made a pocket with cotton on the back with some of this fabric here. Got some little hearts in there. And then a couple more pieces and it has the Italian drawings in Metropolitan Museum of Art. So, and then there's the back. So I had a really good time making this journal. I, I did it in like, this journal came together pretty quick. I was able to make it in an evening. What, uh, other than today, I went through and um, did some stenciling and stamping on it. So that was that's really fun. I think it turned out well. You don't need to have digital kits or a scrap of paper to make a really cute um, journal. And you can um, make one small enough to put in your purse or um, just have a small one near your coffee table um, or tea table. And that works really well. So I think that's what I wanted to show you today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, if you liked it, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. I will be um, getting some more things into the shop and getting a few more videos up. And um, I hope you guys are having a great fall and I will see you guys soon. You take care. Bye-bye.